Hey YouTube, Scott the Front Porch Piper here on a gorgeous summer day in Southern Maine. It's about uh, 75 degrees here on the front porch. Probably one of our last warm days of summer before autumn approaches. In fact, if I look closely out at the trees and the maples, I can see some of the leaves just starting to get a hint of color to them. And in that spirit, I'm smoking a Stanwell Rook. I don't know if you can see that. Um, filled with Autumn Evening from Cornell and Deal. So, I've been watching a few YTPC videos on folks recalling their um, their first time smoking a pipe. And their reminiscing led me to think about my early days, which I began eh, around 15, 16 years old. And was kind of on the down low, that is, unbeknownst to my folks. I started smoking a pipe um, by borrowing my dad's old K Woodies and um, some of his old dried out amphora brown that he would keep around. Uh, my bedroom back in the day was down in the basement of my folks' house, away from uh, the activity of the rest of the family. And the basement also contained my father's shop and um, a utility room with a freezer where my mother kept um, milk and bread and other frozen food essentials. Uh, <clears throat> And next to the freezer was my bathroom. Now, my dad's pipes were stored in his shop. And I'd borrow one of his pipes, pack the tobacco, and then head into my room, um, open the window, and stand underneath it, and puff away sure that no one upstairs had any inkling of what I was up to. Every evening before bed um, my mom would come down to the freezer and withdraw a half gallon of milk and a loaf of bread to thaw out overnight for the next day's use. And once, when I was enjoying a surreptitious smoke in my bedroom, she came down to the freezer to make her, her nightly withdrawal. And I was so surprised at hearing her that I inadvertently inhaled and swallowed the dottle and gurgling liquid that was in the bowl and the stem of the pipe. I hadn't quite learned the utility of pipe cleaners yet. My stomach did an immediate flip. The contents of my dinner were beckoning forth it was all I could do to keep my mouth shut against the surging tide. You see, the problem was that my bathroom was right next to the freezer um, where my mom was mulling over her selection of items for the next day's fare. I just couldn't run in and toss my cookies without her concern and more likely her suspicion rising to the occasion.
fighting valiantly, I held back, willing my mother a quick choice and a rapid return to the rest of the household upstairs. Fortunately, the tobacco god smiled upon me, laughed right out loud, more likely, and she quickly left without coming in and even wishing me a good night, which would have just been disastrous. Hearing her leave, climb the stairs, and close the basement door, I rushed to the bathroom and made a donation to the porcelain god. Finally, having gathered my wits and wiped my face and brushed my teeth, I collected the evidence of my transgression and replaced it in my father's shop. You know, Garrison Keillor once mentioned that almost getting caught doing something wrong or illegal is better than the lesson of actually getting caught in the act. The closeness of the escape is enough to scare the bejesus out of us and set us on the straight and narrow. Yeah, well, that didn't work for me, obviously. So, what pipe smoking misadventures have you experienced in your career of pipe smoking? Write a comment below and tell me, or even post a VR. I'd love to hear them. As always, I appreciate your watching. Feel free to like or share the video, even subscribe. Uh, and thanks, and I'll see you down the road.